What's going on everybody? I'm Coach Jacob Cavazuto with Cap Training and in this video I'm going to give you guys three tips to improve your acceleration. If you're watching this video, maybe you've been told by a coach before that your burst off the line isn't what it should be or you get beat off of the line really easily or you need to be more explosive. Well, sometimes that's not super clear when they're telling you guys this stuff, so I'm going to try and make it clear and clear up what they're trying to tell you and they're trying to tell you that your acceleration is poor and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you guys can improve that with a couple easy to fix tips. So before we get started if you guys want to become better football players, better athletes in general, hit that subscribe button to Cav Training because that's what all my videos are about and let's get better today. Football is all about being explosive off of the line and if you're not explosive off the line, you're going to get beat in a lot of different one-on-one -on -one matchups and in a lot of different situations, and you won't be in the right place at the right time in the game. So this video will show you guys three tips that will improve your acceleration so you guys can make more plays on the field. And let's get started with tip number one. Tip number one, we need to improve our strength. A lot of you watching this video are like, duh, we need to be strong to be good accelerators. But let me explain. Yes, improving your squat max from 200 to 300 pounds is gonna obviously help you with your overall performance and possibly your speed, but we can't just get that base strength better. We need to improve that explosive strength so we can have that translate to the field. How do we improve that overall explosive strength? We lift with an intent to be explosive. We're not just gonna go down with the bar go down slowly, move up slowly, and do regular reps. No, we're gonna be explosive about it. We're gonna go down regular, and then we're gonna pop up as explosive as possible so we can move that bar as fast as possible, therefore moving our body on the field as fast as possible. Then we couple these heavy strength training exercises with explosive jumping, broad jumps, vertical jumps, tuck jumps, single leg jumps, and that's gonna help us translate this power and strength that we're building through heavy lifting into explosive on-field performance. Another factor playing into this is our relative body strength. It's basically how strong you are as compared to your body weight. If you are strong for your body weight, you're gonna be a better accelerator. Some of you guys need to get stronger as compared to your body weight, and some of you guys have to lose body weight and keep your strength so you guys can become better accelerators. That's a huge factor when it comes to creating force off of the line and really getting that root force power off of the line so you guys can accelerate better. So factor that in when you're trying to improve your strength while improving your acceleration. Make sure you guys stay tuned to tip number three because that's gonna be the tip that moves the needle the most for you guys. Stay tuned. Tip number two, we have to improve our technique. And this is yet another obvious answer to this improving our acceleration question, but let me explain. There are a couple things I look for when analyzing somebody's acceleration technique. The biggest thing that I wanna cover in this video is the angles we are creating. Sometimes people have really bad angles when they're getting off the line. Some people are too straight up, some people are even too low. And we have to get at a good enough angle so we can create force into the ground and get a good push off. More specifically, I'm looking at the angle your torso makes along with the angle that your shin makes when you're getting off of the line. Now, we don't want our chest to be rounded and our core to be not a factor in this, but we want to make sure that we hinge forward at the hips so our upper body is nice and straight and not rounded. And then we drive with our backside, we drive with our butt, we drive with our hamstrings pushing off of the line. That's gonna help us create a better angle off of the line so we can improve our acceleration. So to kind of wrap it up and summarize a little bit better, our shin angle should be pretty even with our torso angle when we're taking off from the line and we are pushing off of our backside so we can translate our hips forward as forward as possible so we can improve our acceleration. Drill number three, this one's gonna move the needle the most for you guys and it's resisted running. Now you can run with a sled, you can run with a resistance band, you can run hills. That is gonna really move the needle the most for you guys because that's gonna improve your power while on the field and it's going to really mimic 
that acceleration pattern that we're looking for, the angles that we're looking for from tip number two, and that power and explosiveness that we looked at in tip number one. With acceleration, you want a moderately heavy load on the sled. If you do have a sled, put one or two 45 pound plates on the sled if you're a high school athlete. That's gonna really help you with your acceleration. And you're only running 10 to 20 yards. Now, if you're running with a resistance band, make sure you have a partner that you can trust to hold the resistance band and not let it snap you in the backside because that hurts. But if you're also running hills, run a good sized hill. It doesn't have to be 40, 50 yards. It could be 10, 20, maybe 30 yards. And then give yourselves proper rest in between reps, whether you're doing a sled resistance band run or a hill. That's gonna really move the needle the most with you guys for acceleration. Try that one out and you'll improve your acceleration. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video is poised to help your acceleration, subscribe to Cap Training because there's more videos like this one that are gonna improve different parts of your game, your speed and agility, um, drills specific to your position, as well as tips and ways to approach the student athlete lifestyle of a football player. But make sure you guys, if you guys liked this video, hit that like button and share with a friend and let's get better today.